Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. What an amazing morning to hear and to share the word of our King. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to pray and then we'll hear the word of God. Father, we bless you this morning. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your touch. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your loving kindness. Have your way in our lives this morning and speak to us your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. What a privilege to hear the word of God this morning. I'd like to speak about the word, the word of God. Allow me to read the Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter number 55 and verse number 11. Isaiah 55 and verse number 11. The Bible says, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing which I sent it. I'm here to speak about the word. Praise the Lord. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, what a privilege to know that the word of God is backed up by power. It's backed up by power of fulfillment. The word of God is potent. It is laced with power. It is laced with divine capability to bring the results it has been sent to do. That means when God speaks, that word is backed up by power. Praise the Lord. Now, you know that if a spacecraft would go up, it is powered. It is powered by many, by, by many sources. At some point, it is powered by fuel. At some point, it is solar powered. That is what powers or maintains the spacecraft in space. So the word of God in the same nature, it is not just mere word. It is word that is less with capacity. It is Packed up by divine capacity to ensure fulfillment, to, ful to ensure there is result on which it has been sent to do. Bible tells us, for the word, so that shall be my word that goes forth from my mouth, the word that leaves the mouth of God. It shall not return to God in void. It shall accomplish which uh, pleases the Lord, and it shall prosper in the thing to which it has been sent. Now listen to me. The word of God is not just a word. They are not just mere words, not at all. The word of God spoken through your life has got some capacity behind it. It has got some power that drives it. It has got the propelling power of God to make it to bring to fulfillment that which God says it will do. So this morning I'm here to speak about the word. What is God speaking about your life? What has God been saying about your life? about your present, about your future, whatever it is that you want to do, what is God saying about your life? My friends, brothers and sisters, I want to tell you this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that our God, our Creator, our God of eternity, the eternal God, the God of power, the God of glory, has got a word spoken of our lives that is full of capacity, full of power, full of direction, full of potency to deliver the result that God wants to deliver through you. Now, we are not in this generation, in this time, by mistake. We are here because God has brought us in the kingdom at such a time as this to fulfill his purpose. Praise God. And so, the word of God has got the capacity to deliver that which is sending it to do in the name of Jesus Christ. So every time, every focus, we need to know that we are backed up by the word. We are backed up by the thoughts of God concerning our lives. The Bible tells us elsewhere, for I know the plans that I think to ask you, they're not plans for evil, but to give you a future that you expect. Now listen to that word. That God has got a plan for us, not a plan for evil, but to give us a future that we expect. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want you to know that when God would begin a situation or a thing, he's determined to complete it. He that began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. I'm here to talk about the word. 
Now the word is full of capacity. The word is full of power. The word in nature as released by God will not go back to God except it will accomplish that which he has said it to do. Now it appears to me that the word has to give a report to God. Praise the Lord. What does it say? It shall not return to me void. The word will be released by the mouth of God. It will come and do what God has told it to do. And then it will go back to God and give a report. In other words, the word that God speaks into your life is alive. Praise the name of Jesus. It is alive. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I have come to decree and to declare that our God is in control. Our God is in charge. Our God has got the full potency and capacity to transform our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you believe it? May the good Lord be with you. The good Lord guide you. The good Lord lift you by the grace of God. This is our prayer and this is our desire. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. Thank you for giving us the revelation about the word. May this word continue to work in our lives, both to will and to do for your good pleasure. May your word, O oh God, Father, with its potent power, deliver the objective of God in our lives. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The good Lord be with you. This has been your host, Pastor Johnston Sakwa, coming to you live on the scripture prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The good Lord, therefore, bless you and be with you. Thank you very much for your blessing uh, that you have continued to follow this message over the years.